Okay, I am going to go over my Gypsy Leopard that I'm going to do for um, this cup here. I got a little piece of glitter here. Um, obviously, I can't take credit for this uh, technique. That would be Jessica Flynn. But I am going to use these glitters from the Glitter Ranch to put on here. Now, uh, basically, I just painted or spray painted it yellow going all the way around then some purple then some teal um, and then I added this which I thought it was going to come out grayish but it came out brownish but whatever we're still I'm still going to use this um, gray in here on top of there and but I'll be blending these you know in and out that kind of thing so um, that's basically what I did. I will list the colors of the paints that I used, except for this one, because this is like some kind of clearance uh, paint that I had that I thought was going to come out a much more like silvery, purpley color, which I thought would have been perfect, but it came out like this. Anyways, so I won't, but basically you could use any kind of um, accent color that you wanted to. Um, just use a coordinating color there and just kind of spray it along in those some accent, you know, places, that kind of thing. But like I also, this could be any color you wanted. It could be red, white, and blue. It could be, you know, bright, like 80s fuchsia pinks and orange and greens and stuff. Anything you wanted. Um, but this is basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over the colors here. Um, that way... When I start doing the glittering, I won't have to talk about it, and we can just go on from there. Um, this is the Glitter Ranch, like I said. I'm going to be using Purple Rain, um, Chunky Holographic, and Holographic Fine. Um, that's where I would sprinkle a little bit of this, then I sprinkle this to kind of fill in. Then we have Shipwreck Holographic chunky and holographic fine once again we're going to be using the chunky and then fill in with that then we have 10 carat holographic chunky and fine and this color is like wow this is amazing then i'm going to be using gunmetal holographic fine and this is going to be for the um, spots when we do the spots I'm gonna be using a black glitter that's holographic um, if I was to get it from this one is that one is not from the glitter ranch only because I haven't bought all of her glitters which I wish I have but <laughs> I haven't yet but I would use pirate for sure because it is a black holographic fine just like this so to do the spots um, I would be using this and then pirate so but for sakes of the video and for me to get it out to y'all, I would definitely use Pirate for the black spots and then use Cup of Joe for the brown part. So, I'm going to mix up my epoxy um, and then I am going to heat this up and put the epoxy on there. And then I'm going to go over, you know, how we glitter it. I'm going to use kind of the same technique as Jessica Flynn did. Um, but I'm just going to kind of go off of my, what, what I remember and just kind of what, what I feel. And so we're just going to kind of build on that and go from there. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to epoxy this. I've heated it up. This because I'm going to be doing a lot of glitters and I'm going to be doing chunky and all that. I am actually going to put a little more epoxy than I normally would on here. I'm going to put several swipes, which still isn't a lot, but because I'm going to try to work on this for a while, it's going to take a little bit for me to 
do all the glittering, but that's why this method, the epoxy method for this cup is crucial because if you were doing Mod Podge, there's just no way you don't get enough work time. But this, I'm going to, I mean, I will have, this will be sticky for 45 minutes or more. So, but I'm just really, you know, kind of lathering it on there. So. If I was mixing epoxy for the two cups that I'm going to glitter today, I would mix five millimeters, milliliters, or I might mix a little bit more and like do a pair of earrings or something like that. But the only time that I ever mix more than that is if, if I'm doing like, let's say five cups, I will do, or six cups, I'll do five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 I'll do a five millimeter milliliters for every cup, right? And that usually is okay. I have usually have a little bit left over, but I try to glitter my cups when I am going to be epoxying something else. Like a cup, if I'm going to be doing a layer of epoxy, I try to save it so that I'm at the same time. I just mix a little bit more and then that way I can do the epoxy on the glitter. So I'm going to turn it, make sure that there is no All right. I think that's it. Now we're going to work on this gypsy leopard. I've opened up all of my glitters here. Um, let me move you all over just a little bit. Okay, I've opened up all my glitters here to chunky, fine, chunky, fine. So I opened up the big part for the chunky and the small part for the fine. So I know what I'm grabbing because I'll get kind of going and then I'll forget. So, okay, we're going to work on this part first and we are going to be very light with this. We are not going to try to get crazy because we've got a lot of cup to do. We've got a lot of layering to do. I don't want this to spill all up into my other colors. So I'm going to be, and I'm going to do that so that it doesn't spill onto all the other colors. And I'm not trying to get all the way to the edges of the yellow just yet because I am going to build upon that per Jessica Flynn. See, that kind of stuff you just want to avoid. I mean, it's okay. We're going to, I mean, it's okay. And then I've got a little bit on the bottom. I'm going to do... Like that so I'm just coming back through just kind of letting some of it fall okay now I want to do some of the thin some of the this in here so, I'm going to get this cleaned up. There's not much, but I'll try to put it back in there. Okay, need that. And then we want to do it again. Okay, and we're going to bring, come back with some of the thin. I mean the fine, I call it thin, I don't know why I'm saying that. Some of the fine. I'm just going to kind of build upon that, bring it into the bottom. Okay, so the chunky is more, I just wanted that real chunky holographic to be underneath, right? Because I don't want it, I didn't want it to like take over because it will get crazy, right? 
But if you put that thin on there, I mean the fine, I don't know why I keep saying fine, um, you can really, it kind of mutes that down a little bit. Okay. So we'll clean this up. Okay, next color, we're going to do the teal, the shipwreck. Okay, I'm just going to sprinkle this in. So, got that. All right, now we will go to the next color. Now we're doing the purple. The shine on these glitters, y'all. Like, what the heck, right? I mean, it's just like so much color. It's so beautiful. It's crazy. I just love it. Get up there. this in here. And I love that it has the two openings. Woo! I'm making a mess, y'all. Okay, now we're gonna really get in here with this purple. See how I'm kind of throwing it down because I don't want it to fall all over everything else. So, and this is just gonna, like I said, I I put my logo down here, so I'm just kind of looking for like the outside edge to really kind of have some color. Oh, just love the way that looks right there. So pretty. All right, now we've got some colors. Now we're going to do a little bit of this um, gun metal and then blend those colors together. Okay, y'all, I'm really depressed because I thought I had push, pushed play <sighs> when I was blending this, the gray and blending the colors together, but it did not push play. And so I don't have that one part in there that was like so cool and so fun. And you see my mix that I made here from doing that. But I can show you, I mean, it's pretty much covered now, but I'm going to show you a little bit of what I did just because I'm depressed that all that work that I blended is not um, in here. But so I just put you know, the gray down, and then I did a little bit of the purple and brought the purple over and down into here, and then I did the gold, you know, into that gray as well, and just kind of, just kept going back and forth, back and forth. That's why I didn't, I just kind of left it, because 
I wasn't going to be using that much. Uh, so, um, but I'm so depressed that y'all didn't get to see that. But I used the gray like down in here. I used it right here. I used it over here into here. Um, and then I just put like the teal and then I, or the shipwreck and then I put the tin care and then I put some more gray and then I put that. So I just put the gray down and then I did a little bit of the gold like that and kind of brought it down in there like that and then did a little bit of that and then a little bit of the gray and then did the same thing down here. And I just kind of built on that because I, like I was saying in my video that wasn't recording was I didn't want the gray to be like evident. I just wanted it to kind of like add some depth in there. And, um, you know, it's just so, these colors are so gorgeous. The holographic makes it just sparkle like you wouldn't believe. Um, and also what I was saying was that because they're holographic, you could add any kind of colors you wanted in here. Um, as long as you kind of blend them in and blend them in, but because they're holographic, because they have that rainbow effect to them, any color really goes with any color. So if you, you know, wanted to put orange on here or red or something, because of the holographic, it's going to go. It's going to blend well. It's going to, to work. Um, and so I just challenge you to think outside the box. I was showing my mom yesterday the colors and she was like, um, okay, if you say so. <laughs> I mean, she's just not as like artistic as I am, but you know, I was like, no, I promise because they're holographic, they'll just kind of blend together and you can't really tell, you know? Or, I mean, they'll go because of that, because of the rainbowness of it, you know. And so, um, I just challenge you to use all kinds of different colors. Um, and then also that it is with the chunky and then the fine that goes with it. So, you get an exact match, right? So, you're not, you don't have like weird different colors kind of coming in or different reflections or that kind of thing. You put that chunky on there, you put that fine to fill it in, and you get a really awesome, awesome coverage. And um, I just can't express enough how much I love it. And I love the convenience of it. I really, after shopping for so many glitters, and I know there are some really beautiful and quality glitters out there, just like these, that come in bags, and you know, there's, something about that and everything but to me for the price for the discount you're gonna get the jar you get a jar it's labeled it's ready to go it has the the two different spouts um you know they're all the same size you're not having to look for um jars and that kind of thing and they all fit on the shelf very nicely i just love it I, and I love that the colors are matching, that they, if you want to do something, you know, like I did this cup, that color, that color, chunky, fine, done, you got it taken care of. That's what I like, is the convenience. So, there's your Gypsy Leopard. Well, it's not Leopard yet, because we haven't put the spots on. We're going to put those in here and um, that's it.
<clears throat> okay, I am going to start with my brown. This is um, Cup of Joe Holographic Fine. So I've got <clears throat> my Mod Podge here. Any Mod Podge will do. This brush is um, <clears throat> pretty thin, or pretty, you know, but it is really stiff. So I'm going to be able to kind of pounce it on there. So I'm just going to kind of carry on with my spots. Might just do like just some small spots with no, you know, black around them. I can't do too many because the um, Mod Podge will start to dry out. So I'm just going to go. Okay, that's about all I'm going to do for now. Now I'm going to take my brown. Cover those spots up. Like that. So there's the spots. They look so good with that holographic. Okay, I'm going to keep on going, but I'm going to speed y'all up. <clears throat> okay, I have let this sit for probably, um, I don't know, 15 minutes. I mean, some of the glitter is coming off here, but I can put the, um, it won't be a problem when I put the black spots on, but let's mix this up first. Um, these I got at Walmart. They're just little you know, um, cups, like you would put ketchup in or whatever, you know. So I'm going to mix like a half and half here of Mod Podge and the black. And then I'm putting it in this thing so that I can have it so that it doesn't dry out. Right. Actually, I probably won't do half and half. You know what? shake this up and this um I got at Hobby Lobby but it's no um it's just black acrylic paint so anything you have will do just fine So you'll just mix that until you feel it's mixed up enough. Woo, going crazy. If you feel like it needs more black, just put a little bit more in there. Because either way, you know, some people just use the black by itself, just the paint. To put it on there, but um, I'm just going for the more secure way of doing it. So, let 
you have that glue that goes in there. So, um, put this over here. Okay. Now, I already have glue on here, but it doesn't matter because um, we're just going to go in like this. And we're going to go around. And this, you know, you could look at a picture if you wanted, or you can just go off of your, your own memory or just the way you want it to look, you know, and you don't have to go black and brown, you know, you can go different colors if you wanted if you have different colors going on in here and you wanted to do that you could do that okay I'm gonna do this last one here okay and then I think I might do just like that. Okay. Now. Put this over here. Now this black, like I said, is not from the glitter craze. I mean, the glitter craze, listen to me. Uh, it's not from the glitter ranch, but um, I would use pirate if I was going to use a black holographic Pirate is going to be extremely, I mean, almost exactly the same. It's going to be a black holographic. You're going to have all those colors. You see how all those colors are just making it shine? Ugh. It's so cool. <laughs> okay. Now, let's keep going. big spot there. But like I said, you know, it's just that, you know, one tip I will say is this brush is very, very hard. And I think that makes a difference. That makes a big difference in the, um, the way that you can kind of just kind of pounce it on there. If it was a real soft or thin brush, you know, it might not, um, just gonna do some spots there. I think I have enough time to do the rest of this. Because it's pretty wet from the paint and the glue, you know. Kind of look better out this one here. Now, if this was vinyl and you were doing vinyl spots, I would not go this close to the edge. But because it's paint and glitter, it's, it'll be fine. Okay, now go all the way back 
just in case we missed a spot. Okay, I think I want to go back and do a couple of spots. We're going right there, over here. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to, okay, and we'll go over this again. Now, one word of advice. I'm going to leave this to dry, okay? Like dry, 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 dry. I'm not even gonna touch it probably until later this afternoon and I'm gonna come back through and brush off that glitter that I can see kind of in the cracks here because it will not be dry because there's no glue attached to it. So I will make sure that I brush that off and just any excess that's on there, but it looks so cool it's so shiny it's so pretty with all the colors don't touch it <laughs> <clears throat> but that all that holographic really just you know changes it and then we'll put we're gonna do some streaks of color and different things in here but um, that looks so good so this is Cup of Joe, and I would use Pirate, fine holographic Pirate, in order to um, get the same exact look. Uh, this is just a different glitter from a different company. I just haven't got all of the Glitter Ranch glitters just yet, so, <laughs> but I will. Eventually, I will have all that I need. Okay, now on to the next step. Okay, I have um, sanded this, I have sanded the bottom, I've sanded the rim, and sanded um, anywhere that I felt that it needed to be on the cup. Now, the reason I did it now, because we're going to put epoxy and then we're going to put all of our um, drizzles of different things on there, but I don't, I want to be able to just go in with, an, with another coat and not have to sand or do anything. I don't want to disturb anything that we're doing here. So I went ahead and just kind of sanded what I felt needed to be sanded, at, you know, any kind of harsh edges just to kind of give a smooth um, surface. And then we will put the drizzles on and then we'll do a smooth finish over that. So that was just kind of my thought on that. Um, so I'm going to show you what I have here. Um, that I'm going to do for drizzling on the cup. And uh, like I referenced that this is a gypsy leopard that um, Jessica Flynn did. I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to do a few more colors. She only had like two. but So I'm going to use this Arteza or, um, acrylic. This These are like iridescent. And I'm going to use this uh, Starry Night Microfine powder here and put that in there so that we can add um, to highlight some of this silver that we put in there. And then I am going to use this Electric Plum Purple and this is from the Glitter Ranch. I'm going to use Snow Caps to add some glitter to that, some holographic colors to that. Then I'm going to use this and this mica powder that I got. It's not it's not mica powder. It's actually pigment powder that you would use. Um, it's like eyeshadow. Um, I got it in. It's L'Oreal. I don't even know. I just I have so much of this stuff. I used to do 
uh, makeup and, and for weddings and things like that. And I have so much of it, it's ridiculous. So it's the same thing as pigment, pigment powder. And um, so it's going to work the same as like a mica powder. So I'm going to add this to highlight this gold here. And then um, I'm going to see kind of how this goes. This is the fairy tale blue to go with this, but I'm going to add this in there as well. And I was going to add some of this, which is the resin dye that I've used several times. So I'm going to try those and mix those up and, you know, kind of just feel it out for sure of what I'm, what I want to do. I want to do some on this side, on this side, over here as well. Um, nothing in this area, but I'm going to do here and here and on the other side here. I don't want to do too much in the middle because I want to do like a name or something here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to just kind of focus on the, the lines there. And then this is the mix that I cleaned up after when I was done glittering this. I, I, you know, swept it all into this little cup. And this is going to be um, what we are going to add, you know, like little bits of there. So I figured it would be kind of fun to use the mix that is actual, the mix of actually the colors that are in here. So I thought that would be kind of cool. So that's just an idea for you. So we're mixing epoxy right now, and then we're going to go... Put everything there and we'll start our drizzles. Okay, um, I put the gold glitter in here and the mica and I'm just gonna mix this up and kind of show you. You know, I, I want it to be pretty stringy because I don't want it to move too much. You know, I kind of want it to stay in the spots that I put it in. So that's a pretty, pretty gold there. Okay. And then I'm going to put this clover color in here just a tiny bit because I want it to stay in that teal color <sighs> let's see where that puts us Okay, so I think I'm going to put just a tiny bit more. Okay. So once we put it on there, it's going to, um, you know, be pretty see-through, so... Okay. This is the paint here. I'm going to do just a drop of this. Just to kind of get the color. But see how it has that iridescent and then the sparkle from the snow caps in there and I want it pretty stringy yeah so because I want it to just kind of string along there the black paint that I thought I was going to use was um, 
it had too much of a brown tinge to it so I just didn't like it so we're just gonna focus on these three colors okay all right I put a layer of epoxy on here maybe like 10 15 milliliter 10 15 milliliters if that so um, this is just going to allow it to have something to, to, you know, a little bit of movement with the um, epoxy. Uh, you don't want to put this on here on a dry, you know, a dry base. You want it to have that. So I'm just going to take and string this along here. And I'm just going with the movement of the turner here. So that's pretty. It's not, um, doesn't take too much away from that. And then we're going to break that up. So then I'm going to do this along here like that. I'm just doing just a little bit on the edge of that. I don't want it to go too far into that, but then I'll take it. So you're honestly not going to use very much of this, so you don't need to make a whole bunch. Unless you want a bunch, you know, that's on you, but I, I don't want to take too much away from that. Okay, now let's do this along the edge here I'm just going to put a little bit into the purple and we'll bring the purple into the teal as well. This is just going to add some sparkle, you know? Okay, here we go. Bringing that in there. We'll add a little bit more to the purple and then we'll add the purple to here. Bring it in here. Here. Okay, now bring some of that purple in here. Woo, stringy. See, that's good string right there. That's what you want right there. There we go. Okay, now let's add some of this gold in here. Okay. 
this is just going to be kind of accents. I don't want like streaks of gold, you know, just some accents in here. There we go. And this is where you get creative, you know, this is where you do what you feel is right. Okay, so now I'm going to get rid of a little bit of this purple. Bring it down into here. And this is a little bit more than I would want. And I don't want that on there. So we'll get that. Okay, now you might want to watch it for a minute, just kind of see where you might want to Okay, now There's enough movement here. I was going to put some heat on there, but I don't think I want to add any heat because I'm just going to leave it like this. Now, I'm going to take this um, glitter mixture that we made from the... that we got from... all that was left over when we did this cup, and I'm just going to add a little bit... And you've got fine and chunky in here, so you could really, you know, make your own little, you know, mix. So. That's that. Now, I see something in here. There we go. Okay. Now. Well, you know, these things become what they are, you know? <laughs> you think you're going to go with, I don't want anything in this area, but, you know, things move and things happen when you're just free freestyling. So, I'm 
the sparkle on this is really beautiful. So, I think I might add a little bit more. And that's that. I think that's that. We're going to let that move and become what it needs to be, what it wants to be. And then we'll come back and um, I have a special thing that I'm going to do with this one. So we will see you on the next one. Now that you've gone over that amazing tutorial, hopefully you thought it was amazing, <laughs> um, I want to go over how you can win that very cup that I made. Um, I want to give this away to one lucky viewer of, of my channel of this video. Um, there's just a couple of things that I want you to do for me so that we can um, grow my channel and grow the Glitter Ranch channel. Now. Every bit of the glitter on here, with the exception of the additives that I had, is all Glitter Ranch glitter. So there is, um, there are two different ways that you can enter in to win this cup. Now, the first thing that I would like for you to do, if you have not already, is subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to ring that bell so that you can make sure that you see all the tutorials that I have. Um, in the pipeline ready to come up especially for the holidays now ring that bell from my channel um, if you have already subscribed to my channel I want you to comment down below that you have subscribed to the channel uh, and also one of your favorite things that you learned or that you loved about making this cup and also, if you are new and you are subscribing, please comment down below that you have you have subscribed and that you watched the video and that you loved X, Y, and Z about it. That way, I know I can find everybody that has subscribed or that is subscribed. I can um, we can find you and make sure everybody gets entered. The next thing that you have to do is go to the Glitter Ranch channel. That is that looks like this right here. I want you to go here and I want you to subscribe to her channel. And um, oh, whoops, there we go. I want you to go to her channel and subscribe to her channel. And don't forget to ring that bell. And then pick any of the amazing videos that she has um, uploaded here and comment on one of them and tell us exactly why you picked that video and why you liked it so much. And that gives um, you th those two things, subscribing to my channel and her channel, it is going to be what's going to get you entered into the giveaway. Now, the next thing that is going to give you an, uh, uh, an extra entry is that um, I have partnered with Becky from the Glitter Ranch and she is going to offer you such an amazing deal with her glitters. Now, if you go to theglitterranch.com and you shop and you wanna buy all the glitters that we, that we use to make this cup or if you have a completely different idea or if you need more, um, you know, different colors for other different things that you wanna do, they are two ounces by weight, come in a bottle with two options for sprinkling. Um, they come labeled and ready to go, which is amazing and which I l absolutely love that. Um, they, if you go onto their website and you spend $50 before the 15% discount, you are going to get a free gift Okay, so you'll need to spend, you'll need to be at $50 before you enter in the 15%, the Paxton 15. Now that is going to track the order. If you do that, if you spend the $50 and use the Paxton 15, that's automatically going to get you another entry into the giveaway for this amazing, amazing cup. 
And just in case if you don't win, you can buy all the glitters and make your own cup. <laughs> so, um, and then she is also along with the 15% off discount and the entry into the giveaway, she's going to give you a free gift. Now, um, it may be different for everybody else. It may be a glitter. It may be this. It may be that. I don't know. We She hasn't, um, you know, finalized that exactly. But you are going to get something free with a $50 or more purchase. And then you get that 15% off. So, you it's definitely worth it. And it gives you another entry into the um, giveaway. So, what also about this giveaway is right here in this area right here is where I'm going to put your name. I'm going to do a cool offset script of your name or whoever's name you want to put on there. And um, it will have my logo on the bottom and I will ship this to you for free. So you get a 20 ounce hog gypsy leopard personalized with, you know, free shipping. So you can't beat that. I mean, that's a $50 value right there. So it's actually 60 with shipping. So um, that's a good deal. That's a cool thing. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to grow the Glitter Ranch and we're trying to grow my channel. And hopefully we can teach you and we can all become one big happy family and, um, you know, grow together and learn together. Uh, about how we do this cup business because I know it is it is difficult and sometimes you need somebody that you can bounce you know ideas off of or you can um, you know just learn new techniques or whatever so I hope you enjoy the tutorial um, I will leave all the information down at the bottom I'll leave the links and everything so you can go through and check so be sure to subscribe to my channel. Be sure to comment down below on this video here on what you loved most about it. Then head on over to the Glitter Ranch channel. Subscribe to her channel. Don't forget to ring the bell and comment on any one of her videos that you find interesting or unique or different and just leave a little comment on why you like it so much, okay? And then for an extra entry, go to theglitterranch.com and purchase $50 or more, use that 15% off discount and you get a free gift and an entry into the giveaway. So I will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to enter to win. Bye.